Spanish Niger YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I really appreciate you guys a whole lot for subscribing to my YouTube channel, Stylish Niger YouTube channel, and for the support you guys have given to me here on YouTube. I appreciate I actually don't take it for granted. Okay, guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to actually cut and sew. So you see this trendy, I'm going to call it a crinoline circle dress. So that's what I'm going to show you how to cut and sew today. A subscriber actually sent it to our sewing group. So uh, all of our um, pictures should be sent to the sewing group. So if you want to register for online classes, that is when you should send me a message on WhatsApp. So you could see my number that is scrolling through. And the classes for this month are going to resume. So the, norm, the WhatsApp is strictly for people that want to register for online classes. Please, if you don't want to register for online class, don't send me a message. Send your message to Facebook. Please, I'm pretty pleased. Okay, the next thing, I just want to say thank you. If you are new to my channel and you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then hit on that bell, the red bell. The bell, you could just see a bell. It's actually not the red bell. The red is the subscribe button, the bell, to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Okay, so like I said, today we're going to be showing sewing showing sewing and um, this dress so i'm going to do um some little explanation with this piece of paper before we continue and then the fabric that i have here i'm going to be making use of two yards of fabric and then i have a crinoline that we're going to use for the edge of our dress so i'm going to do a quick explanation with this so you understand how to fold your fabric and then cut it let's just get started Okay, so like I said, I have two yards of fabric here. That's what I'm going to be using. And the two yards of fabric that I have is actually a big length. So that means that's the length of the fabric is 60. Not Ankara. Ankara is usually 45, which, which is shorter. So you see, I have two cuts here that I have here. These are like two cuts. So I'm going to show you. This is the cut that we're actually going to be using. This is a full circle. So with this, you are just going to fold your fabric like this. So I'm going to use this. So you see I'm folding the fabric, I'll fold it into four. You see that this side is, is shorter and then this side is longer. So what you are going to do, you are just going to use the length, the entire length of this part. And then you are just going to mark it up to the full length on this part. So like, you see what we have. This is what will give us the shape of. So you see it is very simple and easy. And then you just add the neckline like this to it. So this is what will give us that shape. So you see what we have here. But if you want to do it, you want it to be a full circle. This is how a full circle one is going to look like. So you see how a full circle one is going to look like. And then you add the neckline. So you see with this, this is going to be fuller and then you just stitch like this to get the shape out. So you stitch this part and then for this one, we are still going to do the same thing. We'll just stitch like this and then to get the full shape, we'll get our shape out like this. So you just mark your shape. And then this part like this is where we are going to stitch the crinoline from this point to this point. And then stitch the crinoline from this point also. To this point so with that with this now i hope you understand what we are trying to do we'll stitch the crinoline here to here and then this part is at the shape of our dress so that's just literally what we are going to do you can actually cut this but this will give you better result of what we have up there so i hope you understand what i am trying to do so now we're going to fold our fabric just the way i folded it like this and then we'll cut it out Okay, so you see I folded my fabric into four just like I explained to you my fabric is folded into four so for mine I'm going to make a little alteration to it for this I'm not going to be adding a zipper to the back so if you want your neckline to be high you add a zipper and in adding a zipper what you are going to do you are going to open up on the shoulder side and then you fold you make the back you add your zipper allowance to the back piece so it's still the same way you are still going to fold it this way or you are just going to add his allowance to the back piece. That's just if the same the fold is still the same. 
So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to measure what I have here. I'm using two yards, so you can use three yards. And the fabric that you can use, you can actually use a crepe. So for the, the picture there, it, it was a crepe that way. I said crepe. Seriously? It's a crepe that was used. So you can also use a lycra. No, lycra will be too soft. You can also use a scuba fabric. So I'm just going to fold a measure. So I have 28 inches here. That's that's the part where the sleeve is going to be and then on this side i have 30 my fabric is a little bit truncated it's supposed to actually be 35 inches but it's going to be 32 so you see this side is going to be the length why this side is going to be the sleeve part so i hope you understand and i'm going to use my entire width i'm not cutting anything out i'll use the entire width so what i'm going to do just like i explained to you with my piece of paper i'm just going to come to this point like this i'll measure about uh, two inches upwards the, the reason for the two inches is just for me to be able to curve properly so I'm, I'm using the entire width so from this point like this i'm just going to form a very big circle so that was the essence of putting this uh, two inch here just to help as a guide so from this point now i'm just going to slant it into the down part of my dress so you see how it is so if i don't want this part to be too short i can still come in just to get a perfect curve i can make it three inches i can come in by three inches with as much as three inches and then i would curve it like this and then from those points i would come in to this point like this So in case you want to reduce the sleeve, if you don't want the sleeve to be as long as 28 inches, you can use any measurement of your choice. You can measure it to be like 20 inches and then from this 20 inches, you just curve it down. Depends on what you want. And then if you want the length, mine, like I said, is 32. Okay. On this side, on this side is 36. That's on this side because the down part is longer than the side. That's the middle because I curved out this part. This part is now 32. So you can make it as long uh, however you want. Depends on how many yards of fabric you are using. Like I said, I used two yards for this. Okay, the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to add a neckline to this. It is really simple and it is easy. So for the neckline, I'm going to do a boat neckline. Why I'm doing a boat neckline is because I don't want to add the zipper to my own. It's going to be high, but it's going to be wide. So it will be able to pass through the neck. So I'm just going to come to this point like this, this part, I'm going to measure 4 inches or 4.5 inches like this. So it depends on how wide you want your boat neckline. And then for the depth of the boat neckline, I'm going to measure about 4 inches. And then I'm just going to slant it into it like this. So I'll bring my camera closer so you see it. okay so for the neckline so i used four inches width and then four inches depth so it depends on how how deep you want it to be so i'm just going to mark it this way so for this kind of dress you can decide not to slope the shoulder it will still be okay so i'm just going to cut out the neckline like this so like i said if you are adding a zipper to the back you're just going to fold them just the way you fold the same way but make the back piece bigger so you see it is really simple and it's easy so we are done with our cutting the next thing now we're going to to measure so in measuring so you see the neckline is pretty okay i'm just going to fold it like this so i'll be able to measure i'll be able to mark the shape so you see that the dress is actually a fitted dress so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to add all of my marks so I'm going to come to this point like this. I'll measure my bust point, which is 10 inches. This is 10 inches. And then I'll measure my waist line, which is uh, 16 inches. And then from this point, I'm going to measure my hip line. And then, so these are the things that I'm going to put into consideration. So from this part like this, I'm going to measure my bust circumference. So for the bust, my bust circumference is actually 36. So I'm going to measure 9 inches. I'm going to add, I don't want it to be um, too tight. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add half of an inch to it. So I'm going to mark 9.5. And in marking, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come to this point like this. I'm going to mark 9 inches. So it's from this 9 inches. So this 9 inches is going to serve like armhole. So it's from this 9 inches 
point that's when i'm going to start. that's where i'm going to start so you can even make it since my bust point is 10 inches i can decide to just start marking from my 10 inches directly so i'm going to just use the 10 inches so this 10 inches is going to still serve as my armhole opening so i just want you to understand so from this point like this so i have marked my 9.5 and then for my for my waistline i think i'm going to repeat the same measurement that i measure for my bust i can decide to repeat it here or i would use my actual waistline so the dress will be very fitted okay so for for the waistline i'm going to come to this point like this the waistline is 33 inches so i'm going to mark 8.5 here like this so from this point here is what i'm going to do i just want you to note so you see the shape that i'm marking i'm just going to mark it like this and then the next thing i'm going to mark here is my hip line so for the hip line the hip line is 40 so this is my 40 inches from here like this i'm just going to mark like this so here is you need to know how to shape your dress properly so you see the way i'm just shaping it this comes in and then this goes out because my bust is bigger my waist is small and then my hip is big so you see the shape is just coming out the way it's supposed to be and then from this point like this i'm just going to mark it down so you see the shape of the dress i'm going to measure the down part that i don't want the down part to be too wide so i can just decide to use the same um, hip measurement to bring it down but i want to reduce it so i'm going to use nine which is 36 so from this point like this i'm just going to mark like this it is very simple so you see the shape of our dress so this is one side so i'm going to repeat this same thing that i did now i'll repeat it on this side also to get my accurate measurement because i want my measurement to be my dress to be well fitted So you see the shape on this other side so it's also pretty beautiful so i'm going to open it up now for you to see it and then so you understand what i mean okay so you see the shape of my dress so if you if yours is longer you just take it down to the hemline the next thing we're going to do this dress we're actually going to sew it from this right side so because it is like a booboo so after stitching on this other part this is where we are going to add our crinoline so for this crinoline part i can just decide what i'm going to do before i stitch to make it easier i'm just going to put notches here on this part that's where my dress that's the shape is going to end that's the shape of my dress it's going to end i'm going to put notches here so this part now is where we are going to add our crinoline from this point now I'm just going to add it round. That's from this point, like this round to this point. It's going to stop here. And then the other one also is going to start like this and then it's going to end. So the crinoline that I have available now is black. Normally you are supposed to use the same color, but since I'm not, I don't have the same color, I'm still going to use this black crinoline anyway. So we're going to go over now and start stitching on the machine okay so welcome to our machine so now i'm going to start stitching the crinoline on it so i've stitched the one on this side so you could see it is looking bulky so what i'm going to do now this is the other side so you see the notch these are these are the notch so that is why the notches they are very important you need to put them for you to know where you're actually going to start stitching from so what i'm going to do now this is the right side and then this is the inside that's the wrong side so i'm going to come to the inside like this this is the notch that i made so i'm just going to take my crinoline like this so that is why you should use a a, a matching crinoline it will ma actually make it easier and better so i'm just going to take my crinoline like this this is the beginning part i'm going to place it like this so you note i'm not pulling it so for my crinoline the edge like this i'm going to close it up I'm going to close it up like this I'm going to take it like this I'll place it like this and here it is really simple you are not going to pull you are not going to push you are just going to take like quarter of an inch and then you press it down like this on this side and then I'm going to start stitching so I just want you to note I'm going to start stitching it around 
so you can decide to this edges you can decide to lock them first before you do that but if you have a fabric that does not fray you can decide to just leave it and just stitch stitch around like this you just keep i'm just going to keep stitching like this so I just keep i'm not pulling loads i'm not pulling it i'm just doing this Since it is a flare, since it is a circle, so it is pretty easy to sew without. So you see the way I'm just sewing. So you see how beautiful it is looking. So you see the outside. I'm just going to keep doing that until we run the entire length to this other notched part. So I finished teaching my crinoline on the edge so you see how it is looking inside so the next thing I'm going to do now we're almost done with the dress the next thing I'm going to do now I'm going to take it back to my machine now and then remember the, the shape that's the edge what I'm going to do from this point like this I'm going to stitch on this right side this is the right side I'm going to stitch it from this point like this to the hemline like this and then i'll fold the down of this part and then this other part also i'm going to stitch this to this hemline and then fold the down and then the neckline i'm just going to turn my neckline with a bias binding so i'll just finish it up and then i'll place it on the mannequin for you to see the finished dress so it is really simple and easy okay guys so thank you so much so at the end of the day you see our crinoline circle dress it actually came out very beautiful and well so thank you so much so you see the sleeve so like i said if you are doing yours make use of a a matching and crinoline so it will, to, it will make it uh, nicer so thank you so much if you find this video helpful i will appreciate if you hit on the like button to make me know you appreciate what i did with this video so and if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe thank you so much i'll see you in my next video the dress actually came out fine i'm going to rock it you are going to see it Okay, bye.